Welcome, everybody. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. As I'm reading Christie's social media, Lance Gidry likes corn, like cornbread dressing. I'm kind of a stuffing guy. I slightly disagreed with his assessment, but we are not here for that. We are here for football. Hope you had a wonderful day with your family. And if ever there was a week, Christy, for the one and O mentality, this is the week. This is the week. And, and you think about, they've been training themselves in that one and O mentality since the off season. Um, it has been, we've got to go one and O today in our workouts. We've got to go one and O today in spring practice. We've got to go one and O through camp. And now here we are, we've seen them go one and O through every point in the schedule to now where this is the one and O that matters most because as Cam Ward said yesterday, yes. there is no next week without this week. Football terms. Yes. I mean, <laughs> the world also, is not ending, right? No, there's, not, there's, no. not a, there's not an apocalypse that I don't know no, about, is there? It is, it is definitely football related. Although you could say if we don't get through this week, we That's don't get true. to next week. That so. is true. So I hope they take that mindset yeah. and we bring it up to, the, to Syracuse and insulate ourselves in the dome and from the weather and everything will be okay. Start, speaking of insulating himself, Cam McCormick has insulated himself inside of this program, yes. uh, wrapped by his family and a lot of support. And it's funny how no more jokes about right. Cam McCormick, right? He is, he is just a tight end on the football team living out his dream and he told me this and I love the mentality he's only ever wanted his four years the same four years that everyone else gets maybe it took him a little longer but he is playing out exactly what he wants well I had the opportunity to talk to Kim and his mom Deborah um, about just gratitude and how thankful they are that Cam is here through all of the injuries through all of the ups and downs um, personal things that he's dealt with, like losing a teammate uh, when he was at Oregon. All of those things, you know, have affected him. And now here we see him at this point getting ready to play his last regular season college football game on Saturday. And that is just, that was it. It was, it was gratitude. It was gratitude for Coach Cristobal and the support of this team and this program, um, all of that. And, and his journey has been, I mean, it's an incredible journey, obviously. We know that. And, uh, I do think he has a sense of humor about it now. Um, I, I still remember the tweet he posted after one of those touchdowns where I, he, he posted, I'm in my prime with a, a <laughs> gif of an old man just kind of laughing. You know, so he has a sense of humor. He's heard the jokes. He knows, you know, everybody's telling him to get out of college, go get a job. And, and he says, well. It's no. No, no, yeah, no, no, right. no, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Who's ever telling you that? Yeah. Stay as long as you can. But he, you know, he's heard the jokes and he's heard that. And now he has a little bit of fun with it too. Like I said, I'm, I'm in my prime. That one cracked me up. But, you know, he's just grateful that he's had those four years. They've been a little stunted and back and forth and trials and tribulation, a lot of physical pain, obviously, to get through some of those injuries. But he's here and he's been such a big part of this team. So one of those guys you just can't help but root for. I also think if, you, if, if, if when one digs into the details of like everything he's been through, mm -hmm. And I think the thing that maybe we gloss over in my say we in the right, like when you have an injury of the, of the magnitude and the of he had like yeah. rehab is not fun. Right. There is a lot of suffering. And so, again, at the end of the day, you can either poke fun or you can go, wait a second. Look what this guy's put himself through right. multiple times because, you know, one injury, one thing, multiple right. injuries. That's a lot of doubt, a lot of seed, a lot of pain, a lot of suffering, a lot of com a lot of fortitude. So, like, he should be celebrated. Absolutely. And I think that one of the things that he and his mom shared that I thought was really special is there are student athletes and their parents who reach out to them and say, hey, my son tore his ACL for a second time. He's ready to quit. You know, what advice would you give him? And even some of his own teammates when they deal with an injury, Cam is able to be an inspiration and, and to say, hey, listen, if this is what you want, if this is what you want to do, you can make it through one, two, potentially three. Yeah. And injuries. by the way, I, I have this view. On, it's not the view you always want, but when guys get hurt, like a significant injury in a game and the doc leans over and kind of tells them, if you've ever seen the reaction, the emotional, yeah. just heartbreak, I mean, literal tears that come from players, you understand everything they put in and why this story is so good. Also, speaking of good, a lot of, 
This is the holiday time of year, yes. and our canes are always doing good things in the community, and once again, they did that this week. Well, it, it was one of my favorite days of the year. It's called Cane's Day of Giving, and um, basically what we do here is, with the help of Student Athlete Development, that wonderful staff, the players go to Publix in the morning, buy groceries to make a Thanksgiving meal. They don't just collect stuff and put it, you know, put it out. No, they go and they do the shopping themselves, which is hilarious if you watch an entire football team <laughs> take over a Publix. Um, you know, they go and they buy the groceries, they pack them in these wonderful boxes, and in the afternoon, some very special families come and they get to meet the players, meet the dance squad and the cheerleader Sebastian. Some of our golf team was there this year. And they just have some time where they can spend with these kids that, you know, might not have everything that they have and they grew up with or what have you. And um, just really, really special day. And it's a lot of fun to see our players with the kids and see the kids with our players. And it's just, just a great, great thing. It is what this time of year is all about. Lots of smiles. Lots of smiles. So many smiles. So many smiles. All right, Christy, what did Cam say? There's no... N There's no next week without this week. So let's hope we're smiling this weekend, next week. Of course. Lots of smiles this weekend, next week. All right, Christy, thank you very much. One last thing. Yes, it is the holidays, Thanksgiving. Hope everyone had a great time. So here is my thanks to the people on the other side of this camera, right over there. Drew Thomas, Bradley Canfield, and the rest of his crew, thank you so much. Communications, Cam Gorby, James Nabel, Josh White. There is a whole list of departments and people behind the players and coaches you see on the field that fuel this entire athletic department and football operation. The creative team led by Justin Fitzpatrick, the training staff, Vinny Scavo and Adam Bennett, student athlete development, the recruiting staff, yeah, you know D-Train, he's out there in front, but all the people behind him, Stephen Field, Frank Tucker, Mike Rumpf, Roland Smith, Tia McKenzie, Tripp, that entire crew, strength and conditioning led by Aaron Feld, operations, we could not go anywhere. We wouldn't even leave this premises without Brandon LeBlanc and Adam Curry and the equipment staff led by Brian Gossett and everyone else on his staff. Thank you so much. Those are the people that make this entire operation occur. And we are thankful that you guys are with us and that you help us each and every day. Hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. It is a big one tomorrow up there in the Northeast against Syracuse, 3.30 on ESPN, or you can listen to myself, Joe and Don on 560 WQAM. Hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving.